lots going on guys so we got a new video today so we've recently revamped some of these donator zones and in my opinion the first four of these the normal donator zone the sponsor zone the contributor zone and the legendary zone i think they're all pretty good now we still have to buff the elite zone but uh, i think those four are good so i figured we'll uh, make a guide on them so i'm going to show off everything that there is at the zones so i'll start off with the donator zone which is um you need the five dollar rank this is the first one uh, so coming down here, you'll see these evil creatures, and I'll check the tab, evil, and again, you can chat this yourself, in-game, evil creature, just to see if anything right there might interest you, uh, basically their attack style is that they hit very quickly, it's always a low number, but if you're not praying, it might be pretty risky, let's go back to the DZ, and avoid the scrub, So directly north you have a cave which will take you to some of the wilderness bosses which are not in the wilderness. These ones are safe. You have the shop up right here. Um, you know, interesting things would be the Kramon vessel, maybe some some of these other things over here. You probably notice this on the mini map. There's some gems here you can loot. Uh, I actually didn't know this, but Iron Men cannot loot them, so it, they're kind of pointless because normal players will have no reason to. You have a gem rock right there. You have a special ore right here, which actually gives rune bars and gives a little bit more experience. There is sometimes a magic tree here. I don't know why it leaves, but life is full of mystery sometimes. You got elf warriors right here. And then in the bank, you have a mage of Zamrak for runecrafting. You have the trap door, which will take you to skeleton, uh, skeletal wyverns. And then, of course, you have some banks. And if you go up this altar here, which some people don't even know about this, if you go up this altar, this altar right here does actually function like the other altars. It does restore your health and everything like that. So you can use it. And there is a, uh, a bank chest right here, so you don't have to do anything like that. So here we have the sponsor zone. This is the $25 zone. So right here you have some noble guards. They drop medium clues. You also have another Zamrock mage. The altar is right next to the bank. This is the same one that restores all of your stats. Bank boost out there. Down here you will find a dark crab fishing spot. And this little area over here you'll find a shop. Nothing crazy useful in here, but uh, if you want it, you can hang it. One of the better places to cook in the game is right here. Some people don't know that, but that actually is one of the better spots. There's also a pretty good spot to smith over here. Right here, you can do all your smithing needs. There's some more ore out here, including that uh, the, the rock you've seen before, next to a bank. And if we run up here, this is arguably one of the better features of the zone. This is the 25 hour zone, is the astral altar here. So you can sort of run back and forth, and that is pretty good runecrafting experience compared to the normal method. And if you come back in the city and head north, you'll find some more guards. That same cave that that takes you to wilderness uh, um, bosses is over there. Some more guards right here. And then up north we have Ice Lords, which uh, will show you their loot. These are actually pretty good to kill, especially early on. This is... If, if you manage to get sponsor zone early, this is definitely one of the things you should start on. All you need is prey melee. They are really slow. They don't hit you often, but and they have low attack, but they have very high strength. So when they do hit you, they have a chance of hitting pretty high. Okay, so here we have the contributor zone. This is the $100 zone. You have the same uh, Monk of Zamrak here. You have the Ghost Sailor, which can take you to some pretty good spots in the wilderness. You have a... a um, uh, it's like a merchant store where you can sell things to. This is completely separate from the other one so if the other ones are full you can come here here is the shop cave nightshade probably being the main thing got banks right here lumberjack leaf who will teleport you to the redwood spot and i'll show you that right now and for people wondering if you cut this tree down and it glitches like you it goes invisible and you can't see it you can try to hit it from the top sometimes you can click it from the top most people don't know that so we'll go back to cz I apologize if you can hear the air conditioner in the background, it's just, it's there. Uzi right here will teleport you to bandits for 40 mil. There is a sarcophagus from the event. It's not exactly the same, it's, it's different, but it does provide more experience. You also have a mammoth down here. Yeah, that same cave that teleports you to the winners. Bosses, you have a spirit tree right here, Minotaurs, which I'll show you their loots. 
if I can click. Mm, Minotaur. So the main thing being the ranger boots and the flippers. If you're ever wondering how people are getting those loots, now you know. And then there is also a black salamander spot. It's not in the wilderness. And then this redwood tree is here, but it sometimes glitches out, glitches out as well, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Now for the last zone, I actually don't have it on my, uh, there's that orbital light too, by the way. <laughs> but uh, for the last zone, I'll have to log in on Jamie. This dude just got an arcane sigil. That's pretty cool. Just to him. So let's check out the LZ. Now the LZ is the one that really needed the most improvements, and I honestly think at this point it's pretty good. So I'll show everything. So we have that same merchant who teleports you to bandits, but this time, if you look at the price, it is cheaper. They have the sarcophagus, the uh, orb of light, which are right next to a bank. This fire does work like the fire on Fossil Island. You can use bonfire right here. This manhole teleports you to adamant and rune dragons. Uh, if you have a spade, you can collect muddy rocks right here. Muddy rocks are used for aggression pots. You have some um, king sand crabs over here. We'll show you their drops. One of the main drops being the jar of sand. And you'll also see sandworms. There is an angler fishing spot, and I'll show you that in a bit. So you have some more rock crabs. They're kind of spread out around here. You have a soul altar, which, uh, you know, is one of the best runecrafting methods, taking it from here all the way around. Um, this zone is actually, uh, we're thinking about changing it. If you look, if you notice, this zone is kind of random, and it's really small. And it's really small, like, in terms of area where you can put things, because there's a lot of mountain ridges and... The tents don't really work. So we're thinking about changing this. If you have any thoughts on a new location, let us know. If you click that little rock thing, you'll come up here where you have more mammoths. Let's go back. But uh, yeah, we are thinking about changing the spot. And whenever we do that, I'll, I'll try to remember to update it. You have a Sigmund Merchant here who is not actually unique, but that's because I was too lazy to add a new one. <laughs> and then up here you have a nice angler fishing spot next to the bank. So... Let me check out one last thing. I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting this. Yes, you have the uh, vial here. This vial right here is actually a potion mixer. And it is better than the one at home. It's, it does not use any money, so it's free. So there's that. And I believe that is everything. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions on any improvements we can make for these zones, if you have any you know idea where we can move this one, the EZ is actually uh, has nothing, which is the $1,000 a thousand dollar donator zone it's just we never really thought anybody would ever get there and um we never really spent any time on it so if you have any ideas for this as well something cool you know anything at all let us know thanks for watching guys peace